So my name is Michael Brown. I am uh, the founder of Sentiment and I'm also the GP at Sentiment Capital. Sentiment Capital is an early stage $5 million fund based out of New York that invests in people of color who are neuroscientists, neurophysiologists, and generally any form of people who are scientists who are people of color. And so, um, as was correctly exposited, I'm going to talk about a couple of different things and then I'm going to do something which has actually never been done before. Um, it's called brain wrap and it's just lyricism with neurocomputing. Um, but before I get there, I'm going to talk about a couple of different things. And the first is sentiment. Um, so the Alexander Huth study, which was a study done by Alexander Huth from UC Berkeley in 2016, um, looked at something called volumetric voxels. Now, what are these? These are essentially partial maps of the human brain. And this particular study looked at the ability to project words into these volumetric voxels. So the best way to think about this is if six of us got together in a room and we started talking to each other, we could start predicting what one another were going to say because we had a shared understanding of the world. And so this applies to marketing from two perspectives. The first is we use it for social media marketing and we use it for retargeting. We just did a proof of concept with a bank where we were able to actually, for about $1,000, get two accounts opened and get about an equivalent $50,000 ROI, which I don't know if anyone here knows anything about marketing, but that's pretty much impossible in the marketing world. And we did it. Um, and then the other is scalable neuro focus groups. So if anyone's familiar with the Pepsi ad of 2000 and I think it was 17, what happened there was uh, a lot of focus groups were done, but on a small quantitative basis, on a small part of the country. And then what this resulted in is the rest of the country being left out. And then Kendall Jenner was seen as kind of an appropriate representation for Black Lives Matter, which was a mistake. <laughs> so, you know, these are the two applications of, of the field that I created called Neurosentiment. I created it in partnership with um, Fielding University, a Sprint-sponsored uh, study that we did at the Kansas University Medical Center as well. And basically, the idea and the proposition around the study was to look at sentiment analysis in comparison to the Huth study. So volumetric pixels being used for these focus groups, which then walked into kind of filtering what the world was seen and as the world is seen through different people's minds, and then using that to kind of reduce bias. And so uh, sentiment capital is part of kind of a larger architecture of other things that we do. And if we take a look at the Huth study super quickly, we can walk through that, and then we can get to where everybody came for, I think, which is some brain wrap. So. So what, what you're seeing here is one of these voxels, right? And so um, there's an algorithm called the pragmatic algorithm. And this was surface understanding in this particular area, which is the Cecil Gengola, um, which was volumetric understanding of uh, initially kind of language from brokers area, which was kind of the, the baseline of the study. And then they kind of read the moth radio or had it read to a number of subjects in fMRI machines over the course of about an hour, each subject. And so about across about, I think it's 30,000 words, they were able to first of all see positive words and then cycle through to the next one. Press next again. Then negative words, one more time. And then kind of everything in between, keep going. Then that allows you to get a decision tree driven understanding of all six people's brains together. And so this is the Huth study, but we have proprietary algorithms which are built on this, which are separate. Keep going, dude, one more time. And so then you can see like the high performance across the entire brain of predicting what's going to happen. One more time. Then you can start to categorize these into high level emotions. Keep going. And then you can predict what people are going to think. And you will see that live with brain wrap in a second. So our, we have like another set of algorithms that sits on top of some of this stuff. And we're going to do that live in a sec. Um, this has massive applications for Alzheimer's, neurodegenerative diseases, um, lyricism in the case of uh, kind of hip hop artists who could get better and, and, and need to be able to get better. And most importantly, sound categorization. So have you ever been sitting there and you're like, you know, I really want a certain song. I don't know what the name is. I can't find it on Pandora. I can't find it on Shazam. What if you just had a headset on like this and it was brought to you like that? And then there was a curated playlist of those. That is what we're talking about. So I'm going to pause for a sec because I just said a lot of words. <laughs> um, I'm going to let that sink in. Um, let's breathe. Let's just. Yogic stuff, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that's, that's pretty great stuff, but you know, I actually had a girlfriend who told me about this stuff. It was great. Anyway, and then um, we're going to get to some brain wrap. And if we could dim the lights, that would be good. Because someone's got lights somewhere to dim, I guess. We just want to flip a switch to dim lights. There you go. Results. Perfect. All right. Let's get the visual going, bro. So um, first I'm going to do some Hamilton, everyone knows Hamilton, then I'm going to freestyle live, and actually what I want the audience to do is uh, every 
few bars, just shout me a word, and I'll make it up on the spot, and then we'll do something that's kind of like protest music. I had to put that in there. How does an orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman end up in a part of the forgotten, part of the Caribbean, impoverished and squalor, grew up to be a hero and a scholar? Ten dollar. Running father without a father, got a lot farther by working a lot harder, by being a self-starter. By 14, they put him in charge of a trading charter. And every day while slaves were being carted and carried away, the brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, bar. Word got around, they said, this kid's insane, man. So turn this up a little bit. There you go. Word got around, they said, this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Go get your education, don't forget from whence you came. The world's going to know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. There's a million things he hasn't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. When he was 10, his father split full of it, dead ridden. A few years later, you see Alex and his mother half ridden, half dead, sitting in the room, sent the scent thick, and Alex got better, but his mother went quick. Moved in with a cousin, the cousin committed suicide. The back, something new inside, saying, Alex, you got offend for yourself. Started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead or destitute without a cent of restitution. Started working. Working for his late mother's landlord, trading sugar cane and all the things you know we can't afford. Scamming for every bit that he can get his hands on. See him on the bow of a ship as he stands on. The bow of a ship headed for a new land. In New York, you can be a new man. In New York, you can be a new man. In New York, you can be a new man. We see ourselves in different freestyle versions. Different versions, reversions. At MIT Media Lab versions. Whether it be James Dean or maybe Jamestown 1701 scene. Different versions. Yeah, it's kind of obscene that in Black Lives Matter country, you can see different White Lives Matter that are peens. Yes, different versions of beings that always seem together in a second. That's a different version of second. And I would ascend that first second. Everything that's already been seen, whether it be cryptocurrencies or something that's a super frontier technology that's been seen, is actually paling to insignificance of the pain that's experienced for those in poverty who have already been seen, forgotten in nature societies that have been already from Rome, Pome, and those are changing the part of the green. That's the Greeks. Everything. An empire already seen. Ascended. That's why black lives matter. What's wrong with the dichotomy? You live in tatters. Well, it's on the oligarchy, and it's funny you start when your children who utter these words of suffering. Like Raki, a boy, the policeman uttering. We're avoid in the light of the night, and it's funny how they're so annoyed by the loss of privilege. Our grace raises idiots. Everything already seen. Literally, from 3.142 as a circle for changing C-A-R-5-6, so 3.146, and as a division as part of the 6. I see myself as the 666, apparently, that's seen partly sick. That's an ascendant for mental reversions and mental disturbance. Those who are left behind by neurodegenerative, neurophysiological, medial pedagogical, and incident rhymes. Yes, that's the rhyme that was lost in Germany in 1909. That's parts which we currently see different levels of society. That's why UBI is so important, see? Universal basic income is something that will ascend those from the bottom to the top, artistic versions of those in which reverse and those which already have seen the top. I think the top 1%, and let's put them to somewhere between the 50 to 60, 5.345, that's a 60, like a decision tree, maybe the support vector machine. Something already seen, it's slightly obscene, that people can be billionaires and already be seen as something that's not already recognized, see? Science in every single reversion, different reversions. Yes, it's kind of disturbance that we can see inequality as something not already recognized. Recognize alpha, beta, fama, vi, fama, psi. Cool, that bit's done now. All right, that was heavy content, so we're going to do something a bit more fun. Yeah, yeah, we'll do something a bit more fun. Um, yeah. We'll do something a bit more fun. <laughs> so just to explain quickly, so, th so what you're actually seeing is like a balanced line. I, this is, it's misleading because I focus really hard because I've trained with this. Um, so uh, that line is like pure focus. But what you're actually seeing is the music, the neuro data, and everything kind of at the bottom all together in one stream. So that's the audio stream, the neuro data together, all in one consistent stream. And some of these volume levels, thank you. We have lights. Hey. OK, cool. All right, so we got three minutes here, so I just need somebody to shout out five words to me. Five words. Waffles. Need one more word. Jumping. Jump. Fast. Hero. One more. Serendipity. Okay, give me a little bit faster, or something a little bit faster. Waffles, glass, serendipity, heroes, and shopping. Waffles, shopping, shopping, glass, shopping. What was it? Shopping, right? Jumping. Okay, let's go. Give me something a little bit faster, but grimy. Yeah. Yeah, listen, 
That's the waffle. That's a carbohydrate, 6.4. It's 6.4, like the shopping is a roar, because I'm jumping in the shops where they didn't really know. I came from the low-level place with the flow, yo. Yeah, and that's what I do here. Heavy neuro data with the cyber cyber rare. Yeah, what is that? That's the broker's air. The part of your brain used for language, scared. I'm hardest on the beat like they've never really known. A neuroscientist who can go in the zone, yeah. Call me the dizzy rascal of rap, but neuroscientist like the rascal is that. That's a high phonetic word, semantic selectivity. I'm changing on the versions where I'm coming. Objectivity is what I do so, so quickly. Yeah, flowing on a level, flowing on a level. Periodic tables, C-A-I-R-R-6-2. That's an I and part of the R-6-2. It's iron just seen like R-R-2, R-2-D-2, like the waffle is true. Eating it in the morning for the belly that I know. That's the jumping on a level where I'm coming with the flow. So heavy, like the levels where you're coming like, whoa. A-R in action and M-I-T, bro, is where see societies be changing on a level where you don't really... Changing on a level where you don't really recognize that everything that changes in your eyes is different perception. Yeah, I die a tribe, which I double switch like a double die aside, like serendipicide. That's a serendipicide. Serendipities, like a different five aside. Literally a game where I'm different inside. Versions of the true perception. MIT true, like a true election. Should have been stole back from another entity, but Facebook and Edge rank come together entities. Literally our parent levels. We change in ourselves. We don't see that evil. Neuro data on the screen behind me for the first time in the history of the country, like the black man's the first time. Yeah, that's history right now. Seen it in the dark. Wow. How does he do that with the brain? Double, double time, like a double insane. Give me like the speed now, bro. All the way. We got one minute, so I'm gonna speed through this. Double time, double, double time, double, double time, double. 59 seconds. Uh, I can't give up. Rap with the burn of a blade, I'm a spark in a cage, I'm a fireball rage, and I burn like a wolf in the windows, I'm blowing the windows, a cat for tiger. And I rap with the codex in the projects, I reset and commit. I see red, I don't stop like a penny, I'm hot and alive, I can detect any rapper. Red hat, black hat, white hat, smack that pipe on Jason Basic. And I'm a cold on a skill, make money from will, don't spike or oil, spike the spence of a will, still I will, still I feel the decoders of Nicholas, but we're in the throne, don't get the drugs and the thrones and the figures of homes and the niggas are whoo. Yeah, you saw the focus peak there. It's peak focus, cause it's serotonin, yeah. That's serotonin, like an antidepressant. I'm anti-adrenaline, like a tuba caressing. What part of my brain was that? The occupational lobe with executive function. The hippocampus with the executive function. That's true impunction, just like compunction. I've got 16 seconds left, so do it. Talk history, like I know that I do it. Every single part of machine learning, true support, vector machine unsupervised too. Supervised neural networks like the RNN through, which we see in our cell, that's one second too. All right, I think I'm over time, but yeah, literally what you guys saw was actually history. No black person has ever done that, that combined neuroscientists, neuroscience and, and rap in that way in this particular place. So like that was actually history. Congratulations, you're a part of history. Cool.